welcome back can you guess what we're making today keyword chili <laughs> we are making chili and cornbread bowls today guys i got my little fancy chili pot here I'm just gonna nicely oil the bottom of our pan get it nice and hot we're gonna get ready to add in some onions and some chopped bell peppers we're just gonna let those two get a little brown and cooked a little bit for a few minutes After you've cooked your veggies, add in your ground beef. Time to season. Let's get our black pepper, our salt, some onion powder, paprika, some cumin, and of course the chili powder. Can't do chili without our chili powder. Make sure you add a generous amount. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm gonna add in a hint of cinnamon I found this little secret trick to make your chili bring out a little bit more flavor. Found that interesting. We're gonna add in about a tablespoon of brown sugar, about a tablespoon of garlic paste, a couple tablespoons of tomato paste, And we're just gonna stir all of that around and we're gonna let our meat cook some more until it is nice and brown okay y'all after a few minutes our meat is looking browned we're going to add in the rest of our ingredients here We're gonna be adding a can of beef broth, or about a cup. We have some chili beans. We're gonna be adding two cans of kidney beans. And y'all, if you're not a bean person, you ain't gotta be beaning, okay? <laughs> adding your favorite beans for your chili. I'm just adding in what I like or my family likes. We're adding in some pinto beans. Not really a fan, but we'll do it for the fam, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna add in some diced tomatoes, one can. And then we're gonna add a larger can of crushed tomatoes. We're just gonna stir this up, y'all. We're gonna cook this and let it simmer on a medium low heat for about a couple hours. And I know that sounds like a lot, but our chili flavors have to marinate. So we will be back, okay? <laughs> so while our chili is almost finished, let's get into this cornbread. We're just gonna follow the directions on the Jiffy box. We're gonna add our Jiffy mix. One egg. I'm adding about a half a cup of sugar just to get it a little bit more sweeter. A third of a cup of milk, and we're gonna whisk this all together. And if you want yours a little bit looser, you could add just a little bit more milk, which that's what I did a little bit later. I didn't show it for y'all, but I like a little loose, <laughs> but it should look something like this. We're gonna go ahead and spray our pan with Pam and add in our cornbread mix. And 
And I also added just some small slices of butter. And y'all let's take a sneak peek at our chili. Ooh, it's nice and hot. The flavor's been mixing up, guys. <laughs> I love the season once again. It's all about the soups and the warm vibes. <laughs> Let's get a look close up. Look at our chili. <laughs> Perfect for our chili weather. <laughs> and y'all, we added our cornbread to the oven at 400 degrees after about 20 minutes. She is nice and brown. We're just adding a little bit of honey drizzle on top. Because I like sweet cornbread, y'all. Mm -hmm. So pretty, so golden. Time to take her apart. We're just going to take a spoon and create a nice circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. But we just want a little circle to add in our chili in the middle to create our chili cornbread bowl. Ooh, look at that cornbread. <laughs> So good, so good, y'all. Just so good. Once you scrape that out, add in your chili. Oh, baby, it's time to eat. <laughs> add in your favorite toppings. I'm just adding some cheese on top of mine. A little bit of sour cream. And of course, we have to add the parsley for decor. And we'll be adding a few of those leftover cornbread pieces on top just to make it cute. And that is it, y'all, for this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you have this for family night and y'all sit around by the campfire. <laughs> and sing our campfire songs <laughs> but i will see you guys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye